Oh, talk about weird. I've seen some pretty weird things in this town, but this takes the cake. It's creepy beyond belief. You said it, Fang. We've battled a living mummy, matched wits with the boogeyman, even tussled with a yammering yam. But nothing beats the sheer horror of... Watching Angela dance. Ugh, the brainwaves! I hate that band! Oh, Lawrence, pay attention. Do you want to learn the brainwaves dance or not? Well, actually, I'd rather... Okay, then, from the top. We like to move, we like to dance. So come along and take a chance. Swing, shake, and shout, shout, and sing. Run along, everyone. You're late for class. But my stereo, Miss Gatto. My brainwaves tape. I'm afraid I'd better hang on to this until recess, Angela. Run along now. Ugh! Oh, I can't wait. wait. My brainwaves It's going to be so cool. Yeah. I can't wait. It's going to be the cinematic event of the year. You bet. I live for the Moon Monsters movie marathon. And this year is going to be better than ever. They're giving out door prizes and everything. Settle down, class. Angela has a special announcement to make. OK, Dave, you can bring it in now. Attention, everyone. I brought Dave here today because I'm getting rid of all my toys. Now that I'm a brain waver, I'm much too grown up to play with them. So I'm giving them away to the <laughs> less with it among you. Angela's giving stuff away? I don't get it. That'll be all, Dave. You can put the box down now. Dave? Dave, those are very expensive. It's okay, Mr. Moon Monster. We'll protect you and your planet from this horrible Zitzimi. Quick, Charlie, catch! I've got it! I've got it! Charlie, look out! Where are my headphones? Hey, give me my headphones! Thanks, Bones. Hey, get with it! Hey, get with it! Did George actually just thank you for knocking him over? That was very weird. Guess I owe it all to that dumb brainwave song. Hey, get with it! Hey, get with it! Follow me, come on, get with it! In Moon Monsters the Musical, what was the name of the giant race of singing aliens? Lily? Lily? Oh, hi, Mona. I can't believe you're listening to that dumb brainwave song. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. It kind of grows on you. My mom bought me the tape, and it came with this free trial size bottle of brainweaver shampoo. Shampoo, huh? Weird. Feast your eyes on this the big giant book of Moon Monster Trivia 10th Anniversary Edition. It's the perfect warm up to our movie marathon. This shampoo is supposed to make your hair turn out just like Alpha Waves. Don't you want to try it? Um, no thanks. Charlie's dying to have a look at my book, so I'll see you later. We're still meeting at my house, right? <sighs> hey, Charlie, wait till you see what I brought you. Waves? Not you too. I thought you said they were dumb. Yeah, I did think that before. But check out this video. It's so cool. Not as cool as these. The latest in 3D technology for the special 3D presentation of Red Moon Monster Alert. Check out the bass player, Zero Wave. Charles, dear, it's a beautiful day. You shouldn't be wasting it cooped up inside. Could you go down to the Speedy Mart and pick up some things for me? See you, Mona. Don't forget, we're meeting at my house before the movie marathon. Bat pack, check. Red Moon Monster 3D glasses, check. Green Moon Monster soda slurper. Uh, thanks, Fang, check. Hi, guys. 
Why haven't you changed into your Zatman and Princess Giant stuff? You'd better hurry. We don't want to miss the door prizes. The thing is, we're a bit tired of being Zatman and Princess Giant. It's just not that important to us anymore. So, we've decided to retire. Not important? What could be more important than fighting the forces of darkness so our fellow townsfolk can rest easy? Come on, Mona. Don't you think we're getting to be too old for that stuff? Maybe it's time to move on. I mean, being a brainwaver, that's where it's at. You don't mean that. It's that dumb brainwave song. It's having a weird effect on people. It's the brainwaves are cool, Mona. Not weird. Come on, get with it. We've got to go get ready for the big brainwaves concert tonight. But we've been looking forward to the movie marathon all year. How can you guys do this to me? We're really sorry, Mona, but we just can't miss the brainwaves concert. Why don't you come with us? No way. We'll show them, Fang. We'll have an even better time at the movie marathon without them. One, please. <clears throat> okay, two, please. Say, where is everybody? Seems all the kids in town are going to that crazy Brainwaves concert. Oh, nobody appreciates the classics anymore. <laughs> Nice try, Fang. It's just not the same without Princess Giant and Zatman. But, Doctor, how do I know if it's really true? What are the signs that the aliens have brainwashed me? The first symptom is a bizarre obsession with washing your hair. Did you get that, Mona? You should be writing this down. Charlie and Lily are in trouble and they need your help. You were too mad at them to notice the obvious signs of alien brainwashing. Unusual behavior, the repetition of an annoying saying, really clean hair. You're right. First Angela giving stuff away, then George being nice. Now Charlie and Lily? It's the brainwaves. They're alien brainwashers. I've got to stop them. You'd better hurry, Mona. <laughs> Check it out! I'm Zero Wave! I'm Alpha Wave! Hey, get with it! Strange behavior. Hey, get with it! The repetition of an annoying saying. Really clean hair! Oh, hi, Mona. Uh, thanks, I guess. We thought you'd be at the movie marathon. Oh, I was, but I had to leave. You guys need me. What I mean is, you guys are right. It's time to get with it. I want to be a brain waver. All right, way to go, Mona. We were hoping you'd come around, so we got you a t-shirt and this ticket to the concert. It's perfect. Are you sure you want to do this, sweetie? W what about the movie marathon? You've been looking forward to it all year. I know, Dad, but some things are more important than monster movies. and these special filter earplugs should help me find out just what these brainwashers are up to. with some good old-fashioned H2O. Oh. No babies allowed, Mona. Go home or get with it. Hey, get with it.
kid and her cat, we're a laughing stock. Our plans to enslave the human race have been ruined. <laughs> Right about the brainwaves, Mona. What a ripoff! I bet that's the last we'll see of them. Thanks to you, Fang. If you hadn't found a way to set off the sprinklers and rinse everybody's brains, I might have lost my two best pals forever. Settle down, class. Angela has another announcement to make. Okay, Dave, we're ready for you now. <clears throat> I'd like to announce that I'm offering any interested buyers a great deal on all this brainwaver stuff. So my dad said we can have a sleepover this weekend and have a Moon Monster video marathon. Cool. Great. <laughs> What's so funny, vampire girl? <sighs> Nothing. I'm just glad to see everything's back to normal. Dave, those are very expensive. <laughs> I'll be right down. Yahoo! Hey! Hi! Are you ready for the ultimate vampire versus spaceman high flying aerobatics combat challenge? You bet. It's a perfect day for it. Nice and windy. Mona! Mona, I need you to. Oh, hi, Charlie. Hi, Mrs. Parker. Charlie and I are going over to the park for the vampire spaceman challenge. See you later, Mom. Actually, Mona, I really need you to stay home this afternoon. Aunt Pat's coming over with little Melvin, and I was hoping you would keep him amused. Not Melvin the monster! Please don't call him that, especially not in front of Aunt Pat. But he is a monster, Mom. You and Dad call him that all the time. Just yesterday I heard Dad say, that Melvin sure is a monster. Hi, we're here. Hello. Well, look at you. Come in. Mona! Come on in and have some coffee, Pat. Guess the little Mona's monster likes you. Melbourne. Right, Mona? That's right. And Charlie here has volunteered to help me. <laughs> okay, Melvin. How about we play... Monster checkers! No! How about a game of space blasters? No! Baseball? No! Super Ghoul's trading cards? No! <laughs> Moon monster puzzle? No! <laughs> while, I'll show you one of my most prized possessions. Story? Not just any story. This is the spine-tingling tale of Von Creepsula, king of the creepy vampires. <coughs> Sit down and I'll tell you all about the time Zatman and I were pulled into this very comic book and forced to battle Von Creepsula on his own turf. It all started when I lent my comic book to Zatman here. I didn't mean to wreck your comic book. And he left it out in the rain, releasing the most villainous of vampires into our world. My most prized thing in the whole world. But by letting the ink run out of the comic book, you released Von Creek's I tried to recapture the King of Super Creek, but he was too strong. 
Lucky for me, that man came to the rescue, no! and we forced Von Creepsula back into his comic book prison. But that's when he decided to take us along for the ride. Hang on, Mona! I've got you! Mona! I've got a snack down here for you kids. Want to come and get it? In a sec, Mom! It's slime jelly treats. Oh, monster slime. Yummy, let's go. Story! Oh, don't worry. We made it out okay. And he's still trapped in here. I'll tell you all about it after our snack. Close. Uh, <gasps> no! Three at last. Three to roam the earth, leaving doom and destruction in my wake. You'll never catch me this time, little vampire girl. <laughs> Melvin, you've really done it this time. Not only have you ruined my most prized possession, you've released a dangerous master villain into our world. I've got to find Von Creepsilla before he unleashes his anger on the whole town. Charlie, you keep an eye on Melvin. Wait! Let me battle Von Creepsula. Name any death-defying mission you like. Just don't leave me with Melvin. Sorry, Charlie. This is a job for Mona the Vampire! Wait! Gotcha! Okay, Von Creepsula, I'm ready for you. It's time to take a one-way trip back to Comicsville. You can't hide from me, Von Creepy. Show yourself. Hello, Mona. Nice of you to join me. I'm just hanging around, mulling over my plans of doom and destruction. Sorry, the holiday's over. Time to go back where you belong. <laughs> oh, that old comic book trick won't work this time. I'm much stronger than I used to be. Ha-ha! <laughs> I've had lots of time to train, cooped up in that comic. And now, at last, I have the chance to unleash my new powers on you! <laughs> it's your turn to be trapped inside this low-grade paper and wrapped in plastic. I banish you forever! No! <laughs> no fair, four against one! Time to say goodbye! Don't forget to ride! Yeah, we did it! We did it! He's gone! No! No! Melvin, no! After that comic book! Oh no, we'll never get it down from there. Nobody can climb that high. Okay, Zatman? Ready, everybody?
should be asking what he's done with me. Take the little monster away, please! Please! Where is he? Untie me, and I'll help you find him. I promise I'll be good. Just please make him go away. <laughs> I guess I've got no choice but to trust you. Take the little monster away. Melvin! <laughs> Playtime's over, Melvin. Let's go. Not so fast, little goody vampire girl. You'll pay for this mess first. Ah! No! Ah! Come on, we can get out through here. The treasure chest was the portal out of the comic book world. Mom creeps in number nine. Vampiria escapes from the King Vampire's castle through the secret passage in the treasure chest. I must have missed that issue. Gee, will you look at the time? I'd better collect Melvin and get going. Mona, can you bring Melvin downstairs? That's funny. What could they be up to? Oh. Isn't that cute? I guess Melvin must have really tuckered them out. Oh, what's this? Mama must have given this to him. How sweet. <laughs> 